Hi Job Tread Pros, we have a new update for you and it gives you the ability to create custom views on your tasks and schedules. Now this is so exciting because you have even more flexibility now in the Job Tread tool. Let's take a look. Here within Job Tread, we're looking at the tasks tool in your main Job Tread account and we're currently viewing our incomplete tasks. Now, when you click that drop down, you still can view all of the other um, tasks and scheduling views that you used to be able to see here. But now you can create custom views for different information as well. So the way that you create a custom view of your tasks and schedule is you click on your gear icon and then you'll notice this little pop out drawer pops up and you have to, the ability to choose your display type here. So I'm going to choose month view and then I want to um, choose either specific filters if I'd like. So maybe my office work filters. And then I want to see just the tasks that were coming from my customer accounts. Now this gives you the chance to see your tasks that are on jobs, on the organization level, in a customer account or a vendor account. So I'm just gonna choose customer account and just the tasks assigned to myself that are incomplete. Now check it out, I now have an entire sales schedule for my role. So I can now follow up with all of my um, customers accordingly and stay on top of that schedule. So if I wanted to, I could save this as a new view. And if I did so, then that view will be listed here within my personal views. Now, one thing to keep in mind too, is that you would still have the ability to export your schedule and tasks as PDFs here, and it will export all of your filtering and the view um, information that you've chosen to see here. Let's go into our jobs and see what this looks like. So here I have a garage build and I'm going to go to the schedule tab. In the schedule tab, by default, I'm choosing to see my entire Gantt chart that has every single task on it. So it has all my sales tasks on there. It also has all of my production schedule. And even further, if I look down, I have a bunch of to-do items that are not scheduled. That's great, but now I have the ability to pare those down either, even further and focus on different parts of the job at different times. So I'm leveraging my task types to create different views here for my jobs. Here's my sales schedule, and it's only gonna have the tasks that are um, tagged with the task types having to do with sales. So if I look at my settings here, I've chosen to view it as a Gantt chart and only show my sales related tasks. I can also view my production schedule in a similar way. So I'm only viewing all of the items that are in any type of production task type. All right, and then I even have a to-do list, and this keeps all my to-do items separate from my schedules by just tagging my to-do items with the task type of to-do, and then I am filtering just with that type. So this is where you can really accomplish having a to-do list within a job and keep all of your production schedule and sales schedule nice and clean. So as you can see within JobTread here, this new update is giving you tons of options and opportunities to build out your schedules and tasks in ways that make the most sense for your business. So I encourage you to start playing with it, create as many personal views as you need to, and you can always delete them later if you feel like you're not using them like you thought you might. Um, but then any one of these personal views can be converted to an organization view simply by clicking on the gear icon, convert to an org view, and that will share it with everybody else in your company. All right, so we hope that you enjoy this new update. Please contact your customer success manager if you have any questions. Thank you.